All right, after hours and hours of cleaning up your music, now it's time to begin the grunt work of creating your playlists and crates. Now this is gonna require you to do some out of the box thinking while still using Lexicon's tools to help you make your life easier. All right, we're gonna begin by ripping off the Band-Aid and doing something you may not wanna do. We're gonna delete all of your current playlists. Now, before you freak out and say absolutely not, just remember that Lexicon does not affect your DVS until you sync it. So you can literally delete everything and nothing's gonna to happen to your Serato virtual DJ record box or whatever DVS that you're using. So don't panic. Go ahead and highlight all the playlists you do not want to use and completely get rid of them. Next, we're going to create concepts of your crates that will allow you to visually navigate quickly and make it simpler for you to quickly mix. So here's how I would break it down in three sections. Section one is going to be mood of the music or set list that you design for specific reasons. Two is dance sets of musics. And three, decades or year of music creation. The reason it's important to create playlists first is so you can do the proper research to find the right music for each set list. You see, I love Lexicon for this reason because it has some really, really cool tools to help you find the best tracks to mix and match in a set list, and we're gonna go over that in this video. So, let's do the easy one first. Let's start with the years because that's going to be the easiest to build through smart crates. First, you're gonna create a new folder and name it something like years or decades. Next, you're going to create another new folder and name it 70s. You're going to drag that folder underneath the years folder and make it into a subcrate. This will be expanded or collapsed to keep things looking clean. Now, let's keep the playlist expanded and right click again and create a smart playlist and name it all 70s music. Smart playlists are going to be lifesavers going forward because they're going to give you all the music based on specific parameters that you set. For this, we're simply going to find music that is made in the 70s. You're going to add a rule and you're going to change the field to year. In the operator section, you're going to select greater than or equals and you're going to put in the value section 1970. Next, you're going to repeat the process again, except under the operator, you're going to use less than or equals. And in the value section, you're going to type 1979. Now, before we finish, be sure to change the match section to the top right corner to all rules. This will ensure that all the tracks require both fields to be matched in order to put it into the playlist. Once all the parameters are set, click save and Lexicon will begin putting together your smart list. Once it's finished, you'll see that all the parameters have been matched and you have a smart crate that will automatically update if you import a new track that matches those parameters. Next, you're going to create a new playlist from that decade with an added genre. Simply right click the smart list you just created and select duplicate. Once the duplicate is created, right click on the duplicate and select edit smart list. You're going to add another rule and choose genre for your field. Then you're going to choose contains in the operating section and then type the genre you're looking for. For this demonstration, we're going to use disco. Click save and now you have a 70s disco crate. Obviously, you're going to have to rename them, but you can duplicate these over and over again until you find all the genres. Now, you're going to repeat this process over and over as many times as you like. I did this for 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and I'm currently working on the 20s. At first, this is going to be a bit time consuming, but the pre-work you do now is going to allow you to be really specific with your music in the future. Trust me. Let's talk about situation crates that you could build yourself. This is where you could use your own style to really showcase your music knowledge. We're gonna begin by creating the situation we want to prepare for. Let's start with creating a folder and naming it something like dance sets. Next, we're gonna create a new playlist and title it specifically to the situation you are thinking of. I would name it by the following parameters, starting with BPM range, followed by genre, and finishing it with a set mood or set type. So for this example, let's create a 90 to 100 BPM hip hop peak hour set list. Now, as soon as I said that, I bet you had a track that immediately jumped into your head. I'm going to use the song Kika by 6ix9ine and Tory Lanez. I'm going to then drag that track into my new set list. Now you can continue to use your brain to figure out what tracks that fit that criteria and throw them into your set list. Or 
you can use a super cool tool that Lexicon has that will help you find the perfect mixable tracks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into that new crate, right click on the song, minus Kika, click use and choose the option to find mixable tracks. A filter table is gonna come up and you're gonna be able to set the parameters of your choosing. Let's say you wanna use tracks that have only been made within the last five years. It has to have high energy and it's in the hip hop category. And you wanna match it in key and be within six BPM ranges. These parameters are gonna be extremely useful because it's gonna filter out all tracks that don't fit these, kind of like a smart crate. Now you can also save these for future use in case you wanna use these for multiple genres. Go ahead and click generate and Lexicon's gonna search your entire library for the tracks that will match Kika. Once you find your track, you simply drag it into your new crate. Once you drag it into your new crate, make sure it's highlighted and then select use as next track. Lexicon will go through the parameters again and find another mixable track. This will go on and on until you feel like you've created a solid playlist. I'm gonna tell you this right now. When I found this out, it was a complete game changer because I'm literally using the artificial intelligence to help me find and build the perfect playlist around my knowledge of music and the goals I wanna set. Plus it makes it fun. It, it really gives you opportunities to test out some new ideas, new parameters, and just see what fits in your categories. You could also do this for low energy. You could do it between years. You, you could export anything that you want. You can admit certain things that you want. There's so many things that you can do with this. But now that you've created a workflow that works for you, we're now gonna be able to start putting together your playlists and then we can start talking about importing new tracks. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about importing new tracks, making sure they're edited correctly and how they're automatically gonna be put into your DVS through Lexicon. As always, if you haven't already thought about it or done it, hit subscribe and click that notifications button because I'm coming out with a lot of new content that I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, thank you for watching. Keep practicing, keep learning, keep rocking out. See you in the next video.